Welcome back, family. When talking Dallas Cowboys, there is nobody better to talk to than the person to my right, Dave Hellman. He knows all things about the Cowboys, been covering them for more than a decade now. So, Dave, let's talk the biggest name and the biggest team in the biggest sport. What else would we do? <laughs> Dak Prescott. But here's a question, because so many people are talking all this talk, but what you have to say, it does carry the most weight, at least in my mind. There is a report that the Cowboys might, quote, be a sleeper team on the quarterback market during the draft. I'll take it one step further. Let's look at the Cowboys draft picks. Sure. Cowboys draft 24th overall in the first round. If you are going to draft the quarterback, you're trying to draft a game-changing quarterback. I would suggest if you're going to draft one, you draft one in the first round, like Aaron Rodgers when Brett Favre, like Jordan Love when Aaron Rodgers, like Patrick Mahomes when Alex Smith. It's not to say you hate Dak Prescott or it's bad. It's to say you're thinking of the future, but you think of the Cowboys more than anybody. Would it be crazy? Yeah, it would be crazy. And I mean, can we start? Let, let's start with like organizational philosophy yeah. with having to go back to the previous segment culture. If that's what you want to do, and, I, and I'm not here to defend Dak Prescott. If that's what you want to do, why does this team seem like a team that's not getting ready for the future? Like if you want to draft a quarterback and turn the page, why is Mike McCarthy still your head coach or why doesn't he have an extension? Why are you making people prove it? Why are we having this big dramatic prove it year where it's either get over the hump or everybody's gone if you want to turn around and draft a quarterback? You want to use a first round pick on a quarterback when you might have a new coach who comes in a year from now and says, I don't really like that guy. What kind of sense does that make? Okay, but isn't it? It makes none. Speaking of sense, it makes no more, no better sense to draft a quarterback than now because you don't need that much that you would want to use a first round pick on. Let's talk about the Cowboys needs. Ooh, Cowboys. Cowboys needs. That? Think about it. Cowboys need a running back. I'll get to the top later. They need a wide receiver three, not one nor two. You got Brandon Cooks. You could argue they need a starting defensive tackle. I don't agree. Dave and I argued off camera. Don't need a starting linebacker. Agent Zero, Demario Overshone coming back. Eric Kendrick. So now the question is, you need a left tackle or a guard. You need a center. But would you spend a first round pick on a guard? No. A center? Doubtful. Left tackle? Sure. But couldn't you just kick Tyler Smith out to left tackle? The last two times they spent first round picks on guard were Tyler and Zach Martin. One's going to the Hall of Fame, the other one's an All-Pro. So I would absolutely. But you still got Zach and you still got Tyler. I would absolutely spin the pick on a guard if it made my offensive line better. That's all I'm trying to say. Tyler could kick out to left tackle, and that's fine. Then you just still happen to have no left guard and no center because Tyler Biotish is in Washington now. Tyler Smith is moving. So with Dak Prescott at age 31, you want to have no guard and no center who have ever played together, and maybe you get one in the first round? No. That terrifies me i don't know why it is the way it is yeah i mean you can gloss over running back probably you're not using the first round run a running back no, no no that's play. fine but you still need i mean they, they need a wide receiver three you can gloss over that as well i i love your guy but demarvion overshone hasn't played a snap in the nfl no, the yet. only point that i'm making is this you got the first round pick. I'm not using a first round pick on a backer. The NFL has proven sure, Fred Warner, fine. you don't need to use a first round pick on a backer. I'm not using a first round pick on a running back. The Cowboys have proven that only takes you so far. I might, you could convince me, use it on the tackle. They you need me. two starting caliber offensive linemen. That right now, they need two. However you want to slice it, no matter what Tyler Smith does, they either need a left tackle or a left guard and a center, and they have neither. So they got to worry about that in order for Dak Prescott to ha have his best chance for success. And then you got a, a dozen other things that you got to fill out. They don't have a wide receiver three. I'm not saying that's a first round need, but it's something that you need if this team is going to be better than getting housed in the wild card round. That's my thing is like, we're no longer, we're not arguing about whether the Cowboys can get to the playoffs. It's what do they do when they get there? And what, I think they have six picks in the draft this year. Can they really improve the roster that much? You better nail every single one and they better all be on positions of need, which is in quarterback. I get my, the hard thing for me is the Cowboys don't need to improve the roster that much. Their deficiencies aren't roster deficiencies. How can you say they're that not. when last year's team, would you argue last year's team looked better on paper than what they're working a with? A thousand right percent. Now? What and happened they to still them? still lost. It wasn't a talent issue. Losing to the Packers well, wasn't because their are, roster was well, bad. I'm saying people are still there. I'm saying losing to the Packers was not because your talent was bad. Losing to the Packers was because your coaching in that game and the execution was bad. Okay. But it, wasn't a, it wasn't a talent okay. issue. Can I point one more thing out? Last thing, sir. So. Uh, they don't have a fourth round pick because uh, they used it on a quarterback. Hey, Lance. 
Trey Lance was <laughs> your gamble for the future. So if you're going to do it again eight months later, crazy talk. It makes no sense. Well, like, okay, let's head to the desk and see how crazy the talk actually mm -hmm. is. Joy Taylor, James Jones. Dave Hellman says yeah. crazy, crazy for the Cowboys to draft a quarterback. <laughs> Joy, is it crazy? I don't think so. Mm. <laughs> you guys, you guys, come All on. All that Dave just said. Come on. <laughs> we weren't listening, Jay. Uh, <laughs> we were right here. We George, I wasn't listening to you. <laughs> I, I want to hear it. I, yeah. I, I would love to hear it. I mean, you're not, you, you, you have Dak playing on a prove it deal, mm -hmm. right? Sure. If he does that, he controls his destiny at the end of the year, correct? Yes. He can yes. choose to stay, he can choose to leave. Right. Um, which is not a position that you want to be in with a franchise quarterback. Mm -hmm. Yet, and they know that, right? Mm -hmm. Are we not telling them? They know how the rules work. No, they know how the rules work. Okay, they got so, it. So, I mean, you, unless you were going to extend Dak, what's your plan of quarterback? Mm -hmm. It ain't Trey Lance. Why can't it be Trey Lance? Why can't it be Trey Lance, Dave? <laughs> well, I mean, if you're going to let Dak go. Oh, she said that nice and smooth at you, too. Tell me why, Dave. <laughs> if you're going to let Dak go, which would probably be a mistake just in terms of, like, upgrading the quarterback position. Sure. You've already made the investment in Trey Lance. And let's be honest, he's up for a new contract in 2025, but he's started four games in his career. If you want to talk about buying low on a on a cheap affordable quarterback that is trey lance you could sign him cheaply to be your bridge quarterback but, but, see how it works out draft another one later that's what i would do deep it ain't deep draft. it ain't deep where the cowboys are Joy. i hear you i'm just saying I, I, if you're not going to keep dak what it, it i am not sold that trey lance is the answer Neither I, am I, I. I also think they overpaid well, for trey lance these are the these are the bad situations you find yourself in when you don't extend your quarterback ahead of time mm -hmm. Sure, or handle yeah. it properly to begin with. I, I just, I, I'm confused as to what the plan is going to be. If, and it makes more sense to me to take a first round quarterback that you know is not going to play. Now, I think it's going to cause lots of drama and it's going to, you know, uh, it'd be good for us, right? It would be yeah, very I mean, good, it's good for us. us. This is Loki why I'm encouraging this to happen. <laughs> um, because I wouldn't take a quarterback in the first round, I would take an offensive lineman in the first round. But then it still leaves you in the situation of what do you do at the quarterback position? Because I don't think that Trey Lance is, is the answer for the Cowboys. Even if that's right, and I, I see your point, I get your point, but like, again, if the season goes poorly, it's a whole new coaching staff making that decision anyway. Yeah. So why not let that be their problem? And again, if Jerry Jones wanted to build for the future and have this big long-term plan moving forward, he would have either fired Mike McCarthy or extended him and not created this prove-it year for everybody. But Dave, the quarterback is tethered to Jerry, not tethered to the coach. You still want your head coach to have input in the quarterback you bring into the team, do you You not? do, Joy does, James does, I do. Jerry, of course Jerry, Jerry that does. Is a, that's a valid Think point. Think about it, that Jerry doesn't. Point. Jerry didn't even let his head coach choose his offensive coordinator. Well, can we at least say that that's bad GMing? Sure. That's that, not good GMing that, if you I'll don't want your that, coach that, to have input exactly on the quarterback? And that's why the Cowboys is in this spot that they're in right now. <laughs> um, just my time playing in the league um, and seeing a lot of players that were big-time players up for a lot of money. Usually when a team says, ah, man, we're not going to extend you um, during the season, we want to see how this thing play out. It play out two ways. Number one, it plays out, they go out there and ball and they don't get hurt, and you end up paying them way more than you had to pay them. Yep. Number two, it says, you don't want me anyway. That's what this says to me. All Jerry Jones is doing right now is saying, you know what? I don't know if I want Mike McCarthy, which is crazy. I don't know if I want Dak Prescott, which is crazy. So if you don't know what you want, you better have a backup plan if it works out the way it should work out because Dak Prescott has shown us he probably ain't going to win in the playoffs, but he has shown us he's going to dominate in the regular season. So you're going to be in the playoffs, right? So now you're going to be picking late again in the draft. So Jerry Jones is putting himself in a very bad situation, but you better have a plan. If I'm sitting there up in my office right now, like, yeah, I'm going to let this man play it out. In my mind, I'm thinking, I don't know if he's that guy for us. We got to start thinking like that. Or why wouldn't they extend him? Number two... Jerry Jones doesn't know what's on that other side. We just talked about a yeah. generational talent, and we sitting here talking about we don't know what he going to be. So know. even if you let Dak Prescott walk and you draft a first-round quarterback, you don't know what this dude is going to be. Jerry Jones is putting himself in a very, very bad situation, but 
since you did not extend Dak, since you did not extend Mike McCarthy, you better draft you a quarterback. You better draft you a quarterback. Because one thing I do know, too, is players getting their feelings. Mm -hmm. So once I go out here and ball out, and you didn't extend me, I might not want to sign an extension right now anyway. I might just want to walk. That's, That's just how players time. is wired. You know, so Jerry Jones is in a tough situation right now, especially not extending his quarterback, saying that he's going to let him play his contract out and all that. He's in a tough spot. So you better protect yourself and draft you a quarterback. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak, and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.